Hello everyone, this is Zor of Water, and I am getting really sick and tired of redoing this part! Uh, too long didn't read, basically. Capture New capture card. Failure at capture card. Failure at Sonny Vegas not picking up the audio of capture card, even though the audio is obviously there. And failure at me trying to do galaxies, apparently. I do not like the Cosmic Comet. If it wasn't evident in the long ass video um, of before. Long ass video of before. Way to go, me. By the way, sorry about that long video. I really couldn't find a part to split it. So, like, it, if I tried to split it, it'd be very abrupt and awkward. Abrupt and awkward. Uh, that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes. blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. When there's a Cosmic Comet, there's not one, obviously, because I finished the level and I saved. You have Cosmic Mario. You're gonna race against Cosmic Mario. Not fun. Darn it. So yeah, it's just a race between you and Cosmic Mario. Um, basically, whoever gets the Parastar first wins the game. Wins the game. Uh, wins this level. If he gets there first... Oh, frick. If he gets there first, then... Um, it counts as a game over. Uh, if you hit a... If you... Frick! If you don't fail like I do, if you hit against him, which is apparently very distracting, he drops star bits. A butt ton of star bits. Wow, I'm failing like miserably. That is a let's play curse for you because honestly I never have too much of a problem with this level. And I'm failing quite miserably, which is very sad. This is why I don't like Cosmic Mar Mario. I, I don't like Cosmic Mario, I don't like normal Mario. And you know what, just to save my embarrassment, I'm just gonna commit suicide. Cuz... I had no chance. Try again! So yeah. This one's not supposed to be that bad. I don't know why it's this bad right now. I can't talk while doing stuff. I also can't do speed boost that I've never done before. You shouldn't be doing that. So yeah, this is the first set of many hellish moments I will ever have, and I do not like it. And I hope the wor I hope it's not gonna get any worse than this. And I just hit my Wii mode against my nunchuck, and I think there's an ant on my arm. God dang it! Wee! Jump! Not into the block. On the block. Mario? Thank you! Oh god, he's catching up. Oh god, he's catching up. Oh god, he's catching up. Uh, honey, honey. Don't do that, honey. I wish I had be Mario. Oh my good god. Get me out of here. 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 And now we have an invisible star because I already collected the power star. talk about my uh, capture card setup right now because if it wasn't obvious not only is my video different but the sound of my audio it sounds different as well that's because I'm in the family room I'm in the big room with no closed doors so therefore the audio is a little bit weird um god I blanked out for a moment Basically, I'm in a big room because this is the only HD TV I have, and the capture card I got is passed through because it lags on the computer. All, all I've done was on the computer, our computer monitor, so that makes me sad. So I needed an HD TV, and the only one we have is in our family room. Please ignore this. Just completely ignore that. I believe the one we did wanted to do was Bowser's Star Reactor. I'm trying to remember. It's not going too well for me. Oh crap, the sad thing is, since I lost that recording, it doesn't show the cutscene. Darn it! Crap, I'm gonna have to play through this again! Cause I saved over this and that means I missed the cutscenes for the, un the unlock of the new dome and the little secret thing that comes afterwards. Huh, that sucks. Luckily enough, I have another file that already has three, three stars on it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh my god. Too bad. 
I should probably stop talking about that. I'll do- I'll put that at the end of the episode, or, like, sneak it in after I pick up the Grand Star from here. Oh, this really, really blows! I am not a happy Zora! Oh, so we have thwomps here, gravity, weird... I- I don't even know what to make of this place. It's good, it's bad, I'm not too sure. It is cool, though, I will admit. Let's go over here, get up here. If you jump too high, you're gonna fall to your doom! And if you jump too- if you- if you don't jump at all, you're gonna fall to your doom! I I'm sensing a theme here. Everything is about falling to your doom. Or getting squashed by a thwomp, because nobody likes thwomps. I'm saying they're right, right? Uh, cursor, cursor. I would very much like that one up. Uh, wait, no, 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 no! I didn't know they'd do that. Take me back. Okay, so get up over here. Pick up the star bit. Because everybody likes star bit. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I really need that one up now. Let's see, over here. Can I make it without getting squashed? Oh. I will get my butt burned, apparently. I would like those coins. Oh, frick. Um, no, I would really like those coins right now. And not fall to my doom! Because falling to my doom is painful and scary. Let's see, go over here. Uh, up here. I don't care, because there's coins right here. And here we have Bowser. In all of his wavy hair glory. And apparently he can shoot meteors out of his mouth, and I don't understand it, and I need you, Power Up Mushroom. I don't know if that's the name for it, but I really don't care. I really don't care. I'm actually kind of wondering, can you get physically hurt by these meteors, because I've never had that happen. Epic stare down. And he talks. At least he doesn't have voice acting like he did in Mario Sunshine, which I do not- which I do not own, and it makes me sad, but at the same time it makes me happy, because I'm not good at Mario games, if it wasn't obvious. And again, I am doing a little bit worse than I usually do. Okay, so here we have our first ever boss fight with Bowser! Uh, whenever he uh, jumps up like that, he will stomp on the ground and create a shockwave. And he will keep on doing that unless you lure him into these blue things, successfully. Once he hits the blue things, his tail will get burned by lava inside, or if, if, that, is, that, if that even is lava. Hey, you got stuck! I'll take that! So yeah, his tail will get burned, and you get the chance of uh, spin attacking him. Twice, actually. Um, he will try to run away from you, run away from you while doing that, though. Um, afterwards, he will do it- ow. I didn't mean to land on his shell. He will try to do it- uh, he, would, he would then double his attacks and shoot fireballs from his mouth. It's very fun indeed. There we go. Oh yeah, the more times you hit him, the faster he gets at spinning and running away, so be careful about that. More fireballs! And I believe he'll be jumping three times this time. One shockwave, two shockwave, three shockwaves. I should probably move. There you go. So he's gonna run that way. He's gonna try to run away, but I won't let him. And then he's gonna do it a third time. He just oh crap! Wow, you're fast. And that's it. We beat Bowser. He beat the game, guys. Nah, if only it was that easy. Look at his hair, man. It's like blowing in the space wind. Is there any space wind? My plan, my plan is too far along now. You really think you can stop me? Well, I kind of just did. And with apparently dark magic, he disappears like a puff of smoke. And there is our, <laughs> there is our invincible grand star, guys. That actually looks kind of cool. Oh, now that looks really cool. I kind of want that. I'm kind of hoping this won't be. A normal thing for it to happen, an invisible grand star and invisible power star.
You've rescued another grand star, and power has returned to another dome in the back of the observatory. Hmm, but I still don't think we have the star power we need to fly the observatory through the universe. The villain who kidnapped your special one took her, took her far from here, to the center of the universe. Once our star power is restored, the, the, ob the observatory will be able to go there. Then you can reunite with your special one. Let's see... Oh, it doesn't do the epic cutscene because... yeah. That's fun. Huh. I've never actually seen the little animation thing for if you get a grand star. Hmm. Alrighty, so I believe... I think that might be the only two galaxies that didn't last episode because I had a, such amount of fail. Give me a second, let me go check. Okay, I was wrong. We did one in the new dome, which is the kitchen. So, I'm gonna go do that. Uh, I'm a little bit sad though, huh. Oh well, I'll probably try to fit the cutscenes in after we get the cu uh... After we get the cutscene. No! After we get the Grand Star. So yeah, here is a new dome, which is the kitchen, and it looks adorable, and... Yeah, it looks pretty. So we get on this pole star. And then we have the Beach Ball Galaxy, which I will never be able to comprehend quite properly. But then again, this isn't... This is Mario logic. Mario logic has no place for uh, normal logic. Sunken treasure. Look at all that beautiful water. Look at all that annoyingly beautiful water. I do like the music here. I will admit that. Now, see here. I... right over here. Oh god, don't fall. I can kind of get that there might be like a glass here which would make no sense and that the water is falling into the abyss of cloudy space. However, if I can get the camera to work. Invert controls. Up there, there is a waterfall. Where is the water originating? Like even if the water is coming from the bottom of this bowl, going up and going into this waterfall? It's just reusing. It there's no new source of water anywhere, and it makes I get I get it. I don't get it. I don't get it, don't get it at all. Uh, anyways, let's just go, let's just go do the thing that we're supposed to do. Or get sidetracked any more than I am. The students are distracted by the sparklies. Yes, the sparklies. So here we have a new mechanic in, um, well, not necessarily a new mechanic, but a change mechanic of Super Mario. You can swim underwater, tap the A button to run, uh, move around. I was about to say run around. Uh, you have air, you have an air meter, and if you get bubbles or, no, if you just get bubbles, um, it refills the air meter. It looks a lot pretty. Let's go with that. I, I don't know about anything about mechanics anymore. Screw that. Let's see. Where are the sparklies? Is that a sparkly? That is indeed a sparkly. And that is also a thingamajigger that's going to hurt me. So. Go over here. Uh, I know where one of them is. Where is the other one? Is that it? No, no it isn't. Hmm. Where is it? Because I know one's right there because that was the one that I could never find. Be careful with the eel. Oh, God. I would very much like to get this part. Oh, no, 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 no! Ow. It's also, for some reason, a bit hard to control Mario underwater. Okay, so where is the fifth Sparkle Sparkle? The fifth Sparkle Sparkle is somewhere. I love how I still forgot where these things are. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I think I might know where it is. Oh, pfft. yeah, it is here. Crap. Uh, M Mario? M Mar Mario? Mario? M Mario? <laughs> Mario! What are you doing? Swim! Thank you. 
And then we go into the launch star. Get me out of here, because I do not like this place. Piranha Plant! Screw you, Piranha Adam. Bunny! It's an adorable bunny. Uh, basically, if you talk to him, he'll say that if you jump, uh, jump and do a spin attack, you'll jump higher. Uh, would like that, please. Screw you guys, screw you guys. There we go. Yeah, I don't get it either. I really don't get how that thing is floating up in the air, but then again, it's a mushroom. It can do whatever the frick it wants to do, because it is a mushroom. Oh, god. Oh yeah, this is also timed if it wasn't obvious by the sound. So, you might want to hurry- oh, crappity! That took a little bit too long, oh dear. Boing, boing. So let's try this again! Mario, Mario, stop failing. Mario, Mario, Mario! You know what? I already failed enough as it is. Let's go do it again. Which is the third time, Mario. It's not fail. I was about to say, if I fell into that black hole, we've had a problem. M Mario, seriously. What the heck, dude? Aw, oh, not a chance. Well, this isn't going very well. Okay, okay. Mario, get on the button. Face this way, get on the edge. Ground pound. And then we're gonna run like crap. Or we could do that, actually. I'm stupid. I'm not a very smart sword. Let's go with that. Oh, crap. And before you say anything, no, I screwed a one up. I got tired of this. Uh, wall jump. I, I said wall jump. There we go. And here we have an invisible power star inside of a translucent crystal. 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 And so, here we go. I believe that is all the stars I got in the missing episode. So... It's... It looks like it, it's a little bit... Hitting a little bit near 1220. So I'm gonna end the episode here. Like I said, I'm gonna, um, I should, I should, bleh, bleh, bleh. I am going to insert the cutscenes, hopefully where they're supposed to be, and if not, oh well, I tried. Anyways, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy and hope to god that one, I don't fall, and two, that I actually put, that I actually don't have a failed recording. I'm gonna be very mad if this is another failed recording. Can I actually jump over here? Apparently not. And then we did, oh yeah, by the way, we also got a um, Hungry Luma over here. There. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye! Chapter 1, The Celestial Duo Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked. But she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? 
The girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship, I don't actually know how they did this, and then the two set sailed into the starry skies. And this is how the search for One Piece, I mean the search for the Celestial Mother began. That was totally the story. I don't know what you're talking about. 